Question one. Give is our command word. The two types of molecule from which a ribosome is made. Now, the first thing that strikes me here, I know this is in some of the new spec OCR and Excel papers. I don't actually remember which one. This question has come up for them as well. This didn't used to be in the any of the A-levels. So there must be some communication between the exam boards or they've just randomly selected that this is a question they are going to ask. Like I don't, whereas if you ask them, they'll say, no, there's not a master specification that we all work from or that I don't, I don't quite get um, how this question can pop up in, in all the different exam boards suddenly in the new spec. I think there's obviously, there is a more detailed version of the spec that they must work from. They just don't let anybody see it is my guess anyway. Um, okay, so what is the ribosome made from? I know that it's in the course. I, I, a lot of students wrote to me saying, oh, I would never have got that right without your help, Rich. It's only a small point. It's only a one marker. If you don't know it and you haven't been taught it, then it, don't stress about it. It is question one. I like to generally start with a question I'm pretty comfortable on. Um, okay, so it's an organelle. It's made of various subunits. It's kind of a factual point. It's in the... Uh, I think probably eukaryotic cell organelles video, but have a guess. If not, you obviously have to give both types to get one mark. Question 1.2, describe as our command word, the role of the ribosome or a ribosome in the production of a polypeptide or a protein. Do not include transcription in your answer. So we've got three factual points. Look at the amount of space. You, I, I, this, in theory, could be three bullet points. One, two, three. One of the exercises I'm going to put in the course is to answer past papers with five words per mark. So try and attempt this question with five words for mark one, five marks. Maybe you put four bullet points of each of five, five words. But this is way too much space. And the reason why students found this paper difficult to finish was because the amount of space available. And AQA, I don't think, told anyone about that. What does it do? So we're starting with basically a bit of a description of translation, but in the context of what does the ribosome do? So you're not just describe, you're not going into your sort of your, your standard translation, although some of that will get you marks here. You're looking at what does the ribosome do specifically? What's the, what's the role of that in the formation of a, of a polypeptide chain? 1.3, the base sequence or part of a pre-messenger RNA molecule from a eukaryotic cell. Complete the table with the base sequence of DNA. Now they can ask you here for the, the T, oh, well, in fact, they couldn't give you tRNA because this is pre-mRNA, but um, you need to be able to go from DNA to mRNA, from mRNA into tRNA and back again in any of those combinations. So again, in practice, make sure that you'd know what the tRNA um, code, uh, the sequence of bases would be if they asked you for tRNA. So you need to be able to go back and forth. Um, so this is complementary base pairing, but obviously messenger RNA and DNA have one major base difference. What is it? Find it and do it. In a eukaryotic cell, the base sequence of messenger RNA might be different from the sequence of pre-messenger RNA. So give two reasons why. Two key terms. This should be like rapid. You know this if you know it, and you can just bang out the key term that's the description and what the difference is basically describing what the key term does.